Hello and welcome to the fully upgraded version of the Porsche 963 at Circuit of the Americas. I've already done my no upgrades version, link to that will be at the end. Braking points are surprisingly similar, but there are a little bit of differences here. And we're going to get into detail braking and acceleration points next time through. First time through, I'd just like to give you guys the full run so you can see everything I'm doing. This right here, little braking point here, this is where I maybe should have braked a little bit more. My race line, like, I don't have an optimal line into that corner, but I fix it here. So for the rest, this is pretty good here. And this corner here, you really do need to take this wide, like getting your over there a decent amount. And it's, uh, oh, I went off track there so many times. Very close that time around. So this is doing much better. I already had a decent time, um, but this is a better time. I like to try to do as much in one sitting as I can. So here we go. Gave up a little bit of time there. Here I started getting on the brakes earlier, which I think helped me out a little bit. Same with this section, because I went off track here a few times, which drove me bonkers. So I made up quite a bit there. My drive out was nice. And then very short braking point here. Helps you brake a little bit early. And we'll get into the details of that in a sec or a few seconds and yeah almost a second better 0.9 which is quite a difference and this is it looks at like i was in group h but i'd already had a group a time just bumped up a lot so like i was saying in my other video you really can't see the braking markers on the right at least i can't there are signs there really hard to see though so i'm kind of breaking that one by feel on the throttle as early as possible really drive through this nicely and then it's not this first bend so not the left not the right just before this left we're on the brakes a little bit here and i better to go a little bit more to the left and then back to the right i i couldn't get myself any more to the right at that point because i just had so much speed going braking early here because i want to get to the gas early and 3.4 yeah that ended up being pretty good i had a bit of a gain there Breaking just before that shadow. Well, maybe two car lengths before that shadow. Yeah, that's quite a lot. And you can cut this a little bit closer than I did, but that's good enough. Actually could have been maybe a whole car length over actually to the left. It's amazing how much you can really shorten these corners by steering a bit early. But I actually like this corner here, I got an off track penalty a couple of times by overcutting this. So that's being a little bit over safe, but that's okay. I, I'm not giving up too much there. This corner I take pretty tight, I think. Yeah, like that's set up to be very tight. And then on the brakes early here, far to the right. And don't steer too quickly because your drive out will get messy. That's really good drive out. Then hug as far to the right as you can, but you'll notice me sticking pretty far over here. And then a very short braking point, watch this. That's very little on the brakes. Blast through that. I actually gave up a little speed on compared to my last run, but that's okay. This corner I really hate, but that's good enough. Well, that's more than good enough. Very solid run. So please like, please subscribe. Here's the no upgrade run if you want to see that one. Like I said, very similar points. Bye-bye now.